Hello and welcome. I am Dogbert here to talk about the new Incursion 2 raid, specifically the Mutant Nodes, which they made in order to absolutely screw over Death Seed, create a problem, sell a solution, probably next patch, from what we know. Now, so what am I using? I am using Death Seed with Apocalypse. And to give you an idea just how big my Death Seed is, I do have a very big Dark Beast. I would highly suggest that. But my Archangel, uh, my Magneto is high because of uh, Incursion Raid 2.0. Not 2.0, 1.6, no 2 was the problem there, but then I switched to a different team, and that was fine. And that's going to be the team we're going to be using. You're probably thinking, well, I'm using Apocalypse, so I must be dropping Psylocke, right? Wrong. I drop Nemesis. That's right. You're going to drop Nemesis for the first two nodes, at least. I don't have footage of the boss node yet. My cooldowns were screwed up after this run for Apocalypse. You absolutely positively need Apocalypse's ult ready to go turn one on the boss node. But with all this said, let's go take a look at the videos. Oh, right, here we are, node one with my team. Dark Beast way over here, Apocalypse, Psylocke, Magneto, and um, Archangel. The reason why you bring Psylocke over Nemesis, Psylocke gives you evades. Those evades are important to help you survive. And we need Magneto for his turn one. And I was think I know what you're going to say, but Dogbert, there's a rhino there that prevents his blinds because he clears them. True. But I'm going to let you in on a little secret about Magneto. It's a really well kept secret. It's a hack. You see, on turn one, when Magneto goes, he has a spell. Special you can use on turn one instead of the ultimate. And what this does is it clears the annoying taunt off the absorbing turd. Just watch. Now we are going to take a quite a bit of damage here. Now we're going to put some damage on him, but he's got ability blocked. And they're actually going to kill uh, Archangel. Now the one that you need to absolutely positively survive is Dark Beast. So he can res them. Or did they kill Magneto? I forget. They killed one of them. And here's why we need Apocalypse. Watch all those buffs just go away. Buff be gone. Now we're going to go after Domamu here, but he had uh, defense up and stuff. But we end up taking him out thanks to the assist. And we get those very valuable kills, which start slowing things down for them. We want to keep Emma under control. We don't want her clearing off those debuffs. And we could also have put the ability block over there on Captain Sam, and probably saved us some trouble as well. But he ended up killing himself. Now, Quicksilver is quite a menace. Okay, he killed Magneto. That was the one I lost. So here now we can knock somebody back. Get rid of some debuffs. Archangel has uh, trauma, so... And uh, Emma has died her first time. We want to make sure she's under control. We're going to hit with my big house Apocalypse. I do have a 6 red, 7 yellow Apocalypse. You see those evades getting popped up there? So now we have a chance to go after somebody. We're just going to do the AoE here. Get some offense ups going. Do some extra damage all around. And we get to clone somebody finally. And we're going to pick Quicksilver. We've got a Quicksilver over on our side. And we brought back Magneto. And now we'll do the blinds. So that's a big hack there. Using the special turn one instead of just automatically hitting the ultimate. 
And here we go after uh, Quicksilver. Uh, Apocalypse doing his job. Goodbye, Rhino. You see Apocalypse just pinging the crap out of everybody. Goodbye, Quicksilver. Goodbye, Scarlet Witch. We have our own little Quicksilver. Gotta remove those charges off of Death Bull. She doesn't need them. She has died her first time. The Zorbin turd gone. Getting a little sloppy there. I shouldn't have used that. To be honest with you, I should have just based it with Psylocke. But we're just cleaning it up now. We should just be basicing at this point. We need cooldowns for the next node. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to take out uh, Gwenpool here quick. We'll leave Captain Sam for last. Those pings from Archangel are incredibly valuable. It would probably be better if I actually leveled them up to 95 one day. I'll think about it. This is 2.1, by the way. Second day of incursion. I don't think my alliance mates want to go to 2.2 right now, but there you go. Let's take a look at Note 2. All right, this is Note 2. Again, we have another Rhino, but we are actually are going to use the ultimate turn one here as we go into Red Guardian. We just wanted to get them all nicely grouped up together for Apocalypse, actually. <laughs> Rhino goes second, that allowed him to get stunned by Apocalypse, which is actually valuable. We just need to survive the Kang there. And the big thing we need to do here is get a kill, and that kill would be on Rhino. So we're going to use the ultimate here of Archangel, so a bigger Archangel will definitely help out here, because you definitely need to get this kill, or close to it. Okay, Apocalypse, this is why you need that ultimate ready on turn one for Apocalypse and all nodes, actually. Okay, we're going to take out Weaver. Goodbye. And now we have a chance to clone somebody. I was, th I was deciding who it would be. I chose Kang. I don't think it would be a bad choice there. Okay, a chance to slow somebody down. Get rid of those debuffs. We're going to slow down Red Hulk. Rewind his turn meter some there. We're going to put an ability block over here on the second rogue that has dropped. We don't need anything from her. Nemesis doesn't need to do any of his abilities. We ended up wiping out the back row there. Big Apocalypse, absolutely necessary. If you're doing the latest raids, you should have a Big Apocalypse anyway. If you don't, maybe you should go down to difficulty. Not much I can say about that. You can see this one's actually uh, a lot easier than Note 1. Now the problem here I ended up with is my Apocalypse does not have his turn 1 ult ready. I cannot do the boss node. The most I can do is sack it. So with all this said, I hope this helps you get through the first couple nodes in Mutant. This is actually mainly for my Alliance mates again. If you want to see any of the other nodes, uh, I do have the first two Mystic. I didn't get the boss node today. I do have all three tech, and I'll try to record bio and skill if we get to them. I don't know how much more my line space can push, or how much energy I have to do this. So until next time, everybody.